Hello there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK, and welcome to my channel. If it's the first time you're passing through, like, share, and um, subscribe. And for those who are already subscribing, just want to thank you for your support. Uh, well, I was over on the train over the weekend and I picked up the Evening Standard and as you know I'm always rummage around looking for things to talk to you about and I came across an article about the 20 mile per hour limit. Now as you know if you're a driver driving at 30 miles an hour feels as though you're bloody cruising let alone 20 miles an hour I'm sure you can walk faster than the car. Well, what they are proposing now is a 20 miles an hour in 39% of London. Um, as of May next year, it's going to be in the congestion zone and I'm going to list out the areas. And then um, they are thinking about moving the 40 mile the 50 mile an hour to 40 miles and the 40 miles an hour to 30 miles. Now, on the 40 miles an hour to 30 miles, they're saying that you're more likely to kill somebody at 40 miles than you are at 30 miles. Now, they're saying you're more likely to kill somebody at 30 miles than you are for 20 miles. So they're just making up the rules as they go along. It's all a money-making scheme. They've made 160,000 in the year in London alone on speeding-related offences. So it's all about the money. And it's all a ploy to get you to get so frustrated about driving so slow I mean, they're talking about um, 128 people were killed in um, speeding related. But I mean, they're speeding and they're speeding. And 30 miles an hour, I think, is absolutely adequate. And, you know, this 20 miles an hour, it's, a, it's absolutely ridiculous. You might as not, well not be going anywhere. And I think that is the reason why they're doing it. Anyway, let me tell you the areas, just in case you um, drive in London. They're, it's supposed to be all done. They're recalibrating all the cameras. And so they'll all be changed from 30 to 20 uh, by the end of this year. And it's going in place full force in May next year, 2020. So... Um, Speed limits on main roads in central London to be cut to 20 miles per hour. Sadiq Khan has approved a reduction in the speed limit on 5.5 miles or 30 miles an hour within the congestion charge zone. Um, like I said, it'll come into force next May. Um, the areas Victoria Embankment, Albert Embankment, Millbank, Blackfriars Road, Upper and Lower Thames Street, Lambeth Bridge, Lambeth Palace Road. Um, I think there's so much traffic down there anyway. You're probably doing 20 miles an hour anyway, to be honest. I think the, the worry, not the worry, but where you might get caught is, you know, if you come through those areas late at night, but I'm not quite sure if the congestion zone is 24 hours. If it's 24 hours, you might be in trouble when there's not so much traffic and you might forget. So you'll have to just be alert and remember. Um... Speed cameras will be recalibrated and drivers who breach the limit will be fined a minimum of £100. So I said, it's all about the money. 20 miles per hour at Allgate, Gyratory, on the edge of the sea congestion zone area and on Tooley Street near London Bridge. A second phase is to cut 50 miles an hour to 40 miles an hour or from 40 miles an hour to 30 miles an hour, I don't know if that's and or, on the inner ring roads and other high risk roads. Commercial Street and Whitechapel will be prioritised. Um, 
Many London borough roads are already 20 miles per hour. The change will mean that 39% of London will be 20 miles per hour. I got this from Fridays, which was the 6th of September, evening standard, just in case you want to go and check it out. Uh, pedestrians um, hit at 30 miles an hour are more likely to die than if they were hit at 20 miles an hour. And like I said, when I was doing my driving test and all of this, and they were talking about 30 miles an hour, they used to say that a, 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 a pedestrian being hit by a car going 40 miles an hour is more likely to survive if it's hit by a 30 mile an hour car. So now, all of a sudden, how can that change miraculously over time? Either they're going to be hit and die at a certain speed or they're not it doesn't all of a sudden increase just as the years go by or are they hoping that people won't remember that it used to be 30 miles an hour like i said 160,000 speeding offenses were recorded each are recorded each year and can you imagine if you pay it within the seven days i think it's 60 pound but if you miss it it's a hundred you know it's 120 pounds or something so look how much money they're raking in and that's for london alone um like i said you might as well walk or cycle you'll be going faster than the car because at least you've got more maneuverability and probably that's what they're going to say you know it's to do with climate change and energy saving and blah 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 after they make everybody sell their diesels and all their cars for an eco-friendly car, where well, they haven't forced, but a lot of people have done it, and now they're making it even more frustrating for drivers by lowering the speed limit to 20 miles an hour. And apparently John Lewis Partnership says retail costs will increase because of the extended delivery times. So can you imagine, they're not going to be able to zoom up and down the road, are they? Like I said, 128 people were killed in speed-related incidents last year. So that's just a quickie. Um, I hope you find it useful. And that's all for now. Bye-bye.